booga booga boo booga 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 boo. For those who do not understand, I said welcome back, everybody. King Ray Ray right here, and I'm your host for this evening. <laughs> that was Caveman. <laughs> Just kidding. I have no clue what I was saying. So basically, we left off last episode with making a blood altar, sacrificial dagger, and or a sacrificial knife and an alchemist uh, alchemic chemistry set now this episode we are going to make our first potion so to make our first potion we will need a glass bottle and then we have to go down here and put another 2000 of our life essence into um the blood altar so before we do that let's make sure we have food on us because we are going to need a lot of life essence. Basically 2,000, as I said last episode, is the, your entire um, health bar. So be careful. Be very careful when you're spamming your knife like I just did. Otherwise, you risk killing yourself. Alright, let's throw the bottle in there. Put that up there. And, uh, all right. You know, I forgot that it has to be a uh, tier 2 altar before we can make the bottles. So, to make a tier 2 altar, well, let's just say there's going to be a lot of blood being spilt and a lot of stone being transformed into um, slabs, uh, I believe it's called. Blood altar. So basically, we have to make blank slates. I'm sorry. So it takes a thousand per blank slate. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to need eight times two, 16 blank slates we're going to need. That makes eight blood runes. So we're also going to have to place this in another area for us to get started. Or we could just break the floor underneath us. Um, I think I'll go with the break the floor underneath us because I don't really want to move this thing because we have blood in there already. So basically to get started, you just throw one stone in there and wait till it transforms. It takes a thousand, like I said, which is half of your, oh, better take it before it tries to turn into a reinforced light. We do not want reinforced lights whatsoever. Not yet, at least. So basically, I shall return once I've got 16 slates. Alright, so we are on our 16th one. But, I've decided we need a 17th one. So you're probably thinking, why are we going for a 17th one if you only want 16? Well, there is a thing called the div Divination Ruin that we want to make. So it takes a blood orb and seven glass surrounding a blank slate. So we're going to need another five more pricks. One, two, three, four, five for this last one. That's going to be all the blood we need for that. In the meanwhile, let's go make these rune, uh, blank runes. So, to make a blank rune, you put your blood orb in the middle, put your blank slate on both sides, and then surround it with stone. And there we go. Blank blood runes. Go back down here. I've already got it dug out, kind of, except for that one place. And place it all the way around when having a level two or tier two blood um altar you cannot replace the corner pieces with anything but you could put um stuff on the side pieces so we plan on doing self-sacrifice runes uh shortly but probably not this episode to make the deviation ruin, you put the weak blood orb, blank slate, and surround it 
with glass to get our divination sigil sorry not rune sigil so you can check how much life points is in your current blood orb capacity or you could also check how much is inside of the altar in what tier the altar is also it tells you its max capacity currently its max capacity is 10,000 life points so this is actually a very good thing to have now what we are going to get started on is making the potion we need 2,000 inside of here for one potion bottle so that's going to be, like I said, the entire uh, life force. <laughs> so we're going to need to eat up our last apple that we had on us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's see here. Yes, we're going to need a uh, two more pricks with the knife. But before we do that, let's sluggishly come back over here and pick up more apples might as well we've got an apple orchard right on the other side of that wall okay so two more pricks should suffice check it out yes we got it put the bottle in there and now it's making what we call a flask once it's done it will have eight swigs but the great thing about it is the repair talisman repairs it. So basically, we got infinite swigs. Ain't that awesome? So, eight swigs. And we go up here. Now, I wanted to make the rebutal. Um, not rebutal, but it's kind of like thorns. So, we have to have an arrow. A potion flask and a standard binding so let's go over here to our alchemy uh, alchemic chemistry set we put the blood orb inside that there that there and that there give it some time and it will make our potion for us and voila reciprocation for one minute now you're probably thinking, um, that's all well and good, but one minute is not a very long time, King Ray Ray Ray. Yes, you are very right on that part. That is why we got some lengthening catalyst. I think maybe an average lengthening catalyst would be good, unless we got another high one. No, we do not. So we just want an average lengthening catalyst on this. So let's go back. Oh, we need to grab an arrow again. So every time you have to specify what are you lengthening? What are you making powered up? So put those three in there. Let's give our soul network. Oh, that's what it's called. Soul network more. Oh, hello. Um, oh, okay. And there we go. We got a potion flask with reciprocation for seven minutes and six seconds. Now that is really nice to have. Anywho, we will need, um, I was going to make a bed, but I've got a bed down there. We've got these catalysts, that one diamond. What did I want that one diamond for? Hmm. And then mana steel. So basically with the mana steel, we can make ourselves a mana steel sword. It's same value as iron, but with a little more enchantability. So let's get that. Oh yeah, we need living twig. I'm sorry. Let's go get a living twig. We should have plenty of living wood for a living twig. So where, oh where did my living wood go? Oh where, oh where could it be? We got a bunch of zombies right out of our door. 
do not open it or they'll come in. <laughs> ah, living wood. Right there. Easy to make living wood twigs like that. And then we go up here. Put the living wood twig. The mana steel. And there we go. Mana steel sword with high enchantability. Hwa, hwa, da, 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 da. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, well, you don't have an enchanting table. WRONG! <laughs> uh, sorry if I scared anybody there. No, we got two enchanting tables, to be more exact. We got it from another dungeon that we uh, came across earlier. So basically, I want to put one there. Um, now, let's move it over. Because we're going to be putting mana pylons on the sides of this, so it could be level 30. Um, for now, let's put... Ooh, nice! A sharpness 2 on our mana steel sword. That is a very nice thing. So, let's test it out. Oh, oh what are you? Plague? No, what the heck are you? Okay, so there was a plague zombie that came right into our door. Let's drink this potion flask. Let's eat up. We got reciprocation for seven minutes. Let's go out there and have a little bit of fun with our new reciprocation. Oh, hello. Hello. You kind of made me blind there and nauseous at the same time and slow. Holy cow, you did a lot of things to me. Wow, nausea, blindness, slowness. Yeah, that was uh, quite something else. I... Ah, oh, spider up there. Let's get him to attack me. Hopefully he's not another one of those. Okay, you're special mobs. Come on, hit me. Oh, no. Come on now. You just had to die. Oh, no! Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, we survived that one, now didn't we? Okay, you're probably wondering, what the heck is this over here? Well, a drowning creeper exploded, but I don't want to destroy the... Oh, hello, what are you? You're a splitting creeper. What does a splitting creeper do? Does your head split whenever you explode? Come here. Oh, hello. You've got several faces. Oh, that's what happens. Ah! I've got tiny creepers coming after me. No! Ah! Sheesh! Now we know what the splitting creeper does. <laughs> Alright. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a big fat like. And if you haven't subscribed, come on and come subscribe. I do a lot of Let's Plays. I try to do at least one tutorial a week. I haven't done one this week, mainly because, well, I'm just taking a small break from uh, building until next week. So... Come here and hit me, boy. You just died. You just died because of my reciprocation. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye now and enjoy. I will be catching you guys later.